welcome and happy birthday Tauruses. And let me see, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Happy birthday, my babies. You have won. You all have won. Okay, so Taurus is, oh, this year is going to be good. Okay. That's what, this year is going to be absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So... It's going to be a super, super year. This reading is from 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, uh, the 1st and the 2nd of May. Okay. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic year. Wow. Let's look at this year. The cross. And in the cross, what we're seeing, the energy of the sun. It's going to be a very successful year, ladies and gentlemen. As we look at the pyramid, we see multiple um, emotional situations that has been going on. A lot of you are going to be overcoming and be successful over your en uh, enemies. And uh, um, a lot of you are going to be collaborating with other people and create a um, business. So... Um, as you notice, is that you're going to be successful in the starting or collaborating with other people in business. Success is going to be yours. So if some of you were thinking, um, you know, to start something with your girlfriend or to network with other people, um, that is going to be good. Now, multiple opportunities is going to be coming up for you. Especially if you guys have been stuck, have no work for some time, multiple opportunities. Um, I see multiple communications um, of opportunities, doors that is going to be opening for a lot of you um, is coming up. And this is going to be beautiful. This is in the pyramid of your year. So if you notice the en the energy with sucks, the sun is about emotional success from within also. And it's about positive communication. A lot of you are going to be, um, it's as if you are dissolving emotional issue, but, and by doing that, also creating new opportunities in your world. And this is absolutely fab fabulous and fantastic because the Seven of Cups is all about uh, and you have two sevens, so a lot of you are on the right part, okay, emotionally and uh, um, um, and with your career. A whole lot of you are on the right part, okay, emotionally and with your career. Whenever there's emotional balance, there's also the inflow of money, okay, so that is um, good. So with emotional balance, there is also... Uh, positive energies because you're flowing um, in a positive direction. Now, some sort of an information is going to be coming out about family. You're going to be successful over an organization institution. Isn't that wonderful? So some of you could have had some sort of a problem. Um, there could have been um, problems in the family, some sort of an issue. Um, and what is going to be um, happening is that in this year, um, a whole completion of uh, um, sanity, people recognizing, some of you could be going in and is recognizing something about your child, or some of you are going to be recognizing, hey, it is best that I adapt a child, okay? However that is going, but a lot of you are going to be going in and could be, you know, understanding something about your family or a child or some sort of information about your family that you weren't aware of, okay? You're going to be very successful. There's no question about this success is going to be... Um, this is going to be a very successful year, okay? Very successful in, in different ways, in different aspects of your life, your, your life, you're going to be successful. Um, and as you recognize, um, this situation where um, 
you know, being in the state of understanding um, things about your own family and overcoming them. Okay, some of you could be having issues with girlfriends. Some of you could be having um, um, problems uh, um, that was there is going to be resolved with a corporation. Um, problems at the workplace is going to be resolved. Um, but this is going to be resolving in a successful way. If some of you, your family had some sort of a problem um, with other people, I see a resolution is going to be coming in uh, to that, okay? And you're going to be balancing out whatever the problem, the issues is um, that was going on. And I love this because a lot of you with business, uh, family business is going to be very successful. So if a lot of you uh, decide to create uh, some sort of a family business or you are connected uh, with family business, it's going to be okay. A lot of you, um, if you are working for a family business, I see that um, you're going to be very, very successful. I see that they're give, going to give you even more um, higher position and more legwork to do what you need to do because they're going to be recognizing um, that they want to keep you on their teams, okay? Um, and there's you're, some of you are going to be recognizing something about a corporation institution, okay? Some of you could have uh, had some sort of a legal issue um, with an ex-boss, uh, an ex-corporation. You're going to be successful over this, okay? Then we see um, communication. Communication is going to be very, 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 very keen. If you notice the energy of this Ace of Cups, this Eight of Cups is about ending situation moving forward. And a lot of you who are connected to an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, I see an end is coming up for this person. I see they're recognizing that something, this person has done something that was not above water and they are now caught, okay? Which is very good because you Tauruses are coming out of this. Mm. I see a lot of money coming in for you Tauruses, okay? And remember how this year reading works and Taurus is it's good to um apply for a year reading for yourself why because uh, it programs on you who you are as a person and you know exactly what is coming up especially business people um I have a lot of Tauruses who are business entrepreneur and they take the business reading because they want to see their forecast um, for their, their three months. And it is just so powerful um, that they connect and they work with the program. And they said, oh, my God, I, you know, you have been a blessing um, to help me understand where I was going wrong in my business. So. Um, it's good to have a personalized birthday reading, but if you have a business, it's also good um, to have a business reading, okay? Um, because this show up a lot, oh, a whole lot that people were not seeing in uh, the beginning. So, powerful year, okay? A lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra woman and her family. Some of you who had some sort of an issue with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra woman, um, you're going to be overcoming that, okay? So the cross is good and uh, the cross is uh, um, where you're successful over some sort of an emotional situation that was going on. Um, in the family um, and you're going to be successful over this okay and this is going to be good burdens are going to be over um, you're going to be successfully overcoming whatever burdens that was happening I see some good news is going to be coming in for a lot of you a lot of you are going to be turning your back on um, a group of um, friends okay so whether it's male friend or girlfriends I see here an end for a group of women who have collaborated in order to create a whole lot of problem. Another eight 
um, which is here. We have girlfriends who had work against some of you. An end is going to be coming in for them. And I see some sort of information is going to be coming out. So a lot of you um, had a whole lot of burdens that you were carrying. Success is going to be here. And a lot of you are going to be ending relationships with friends, girlfriends that has created a whole lot of issues for you. Because here we see these three women, it's as if they have been caught and people are not recognizing um, what these three women have done. A whole lot of information is going to be coming out and people are going to be recognizing um, what has happened and transpiring. And as we look, um, some of you might have um, some sort of a problem coming from out of the past, but you're going to be uh, coming in this year understanding how to resolve um, the issues, the situations, the problem, and that is going to be good, okay? Let's break this year down. So congratulations for the people who were born on the 26th of April. Um, you are standing your ground in this year. This year is a year where nothing is going to be upsetting you. You decide that nothing, absolutely nothing is going to be upsetting you. You're going to be standing your grounds. You're going to be removing the obstacles, the problems, uh, mentally, physically, emotionally. You're like, I'm out of here. This is not happening anymore. I'm not going to let things, situation drag me any, drag me down anymore. I'm going to be basically walking away from um, things that no longer pass or fits in my life. And this is going to be very good because the energy of uh, the strength uh, is coming up as the energy of the lion. So you're going to be using the energy um, to pull yourself out of any issue, any situation um, that was there that people were not seeing clearly. And it's going to be recognizing what was transpiring. A lot of burdens is definitely going to be over. A lot of people are going to be escaping from the horrible um, things that was happening and transpiring in your world and removing yourself from burdensome situation and accept, accessing and understanding that uh, you're the only one that can release yourself from anything. Okay, you 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 need to understand that I am going to be releasing myself from whatever issues, whatever problems that was created around me because I want a new start. And a lot of you who were born on the 26th of April is going to be receiving a new start. You're going to be receiving a new start moving forward and you're looking forward to create a whole lot of possibilities in your world and it is going to be happening. And this is the year when you're going to be starting to plan to move forward. So you have the energy of eight, uh, 10, new start, new beginnings, and you're going to be moving forward. You have the three of ones, success. You have successful, overcome obstacle challenges that was holding you back. Moving forward is going to be the best thing for you. So ladies, 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 ladies. Is. So a lot of you ladies, and it's not going to be affecting only ladies, but for you ladies uh, um, who wanted to move forward and make some sort of a changes in your life, definitely, um, this is going to be happening. A lot of you ladies is going to be um, basically taking back your power, standing your ground, letting people know how far to go with issues, problems, things, and understand what it is that we need to move forward in our lives and really, really um, stand up for equalities, injustice, uh, standing up um, for yourself, basically, and taking back um, your energy from people who were just, um, you know, taking your energy for granted. And this is going to be good. What I see is that a lot of you are going to be very, very successful and uh, um, I professional people, I see you're going to be making a whole lot of money um, this year. So um, not only standing your ground, bringing back your powers into balance, I see a lot of people are going to be making a lot of money um, in this year. 
um, you can see that and the, the, this energy is, is, is as if you finally, um, a breakthrough and, uh, you know, after planning, working on your project, getting your project off the ground, it is finally, finally, finally going to be happening and uh, you are going to be ready for this moment, um, because it's going to be a huge successful year for a lot of you. All right, congratulations. I'm moving on to the people who were born on the 27th. You have the energy of the Angman, the Star, and the Seven of Cups. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a beautiful layout, these three cards, because a lot of you are going to be working from the intuition state in order to create success in your world. And by doing that, multiple opportunities is going to be coming in. A lot of people always listen to other people advice. But what we, what most people is not aware of is that your angels and guides is always uh, um, connecting with you and did, and giving you details and, and um, information as to how to move forward and how to become the successful person that you want to be. And what is going to be transpiring is that this is going to be a, he a year where a lot of you are going to be start listening to the intuition and start going within and start uh, creating better stability in your world. And this is going to be absolutely positive because you're going to be having a more fully understanding of who you are. And by having that uh, um, understanding of who you are, um, you are going to be, um, you know, going in. So it says the Hermit going in. So it says the Pisces working with Neptune going in. So it says the Scorpio working with Pluto, removing what no longer serve you. And, uh, um, you know, bringing in happiness, joy and success because this is uh, the energy of happiness, joy and success. And this is going to be absolutely powerful for you guys that is born the 27th of April. So I do love this for you guys. This is just a really um, wonderful alignment of energy. And it is saying go forward because whatever you are planning on doing or whatever plans you have, move forward because this is going to be a huge, huge success. This is going to be creating a raffle success um, for a lot of you. And this is going to be good. So Wonderful, wonderful, positive alignment of energy for the people who were born on the 27th because I see your burdens is going to be over. And then you take some time to go within in order to find yourself, okay? And this is going to be good because as you do that, you're going to be recognizing how beautiful it is um, to have family or people who you can see or families, because I see a lot of people are going to be there protecting a lot of you as you take the time to go within and rebalance and re-energize yourself and rebalance yourself. And this is going to be good. So um, this is going to be a profound year. It's going to be a year that a whole lot of you are going to be balancing out your emotions. So whatever emotional situation that a lot of you were going having with family members, uh, uh, with your child's uh, mother or father, that sort of a situation, the burdens that you are carrying for other family member or for your child's mother or father, this is going to be okay. Um, over because I see some sort of a burdensome situation is going to be coming down, and you are going to be overcoming and successfully um manage in your family. So, um, some of you who were left with your kids alone your partner, um, divorce, still took off, whatever, you are going to be surviving this. And I, each and every day, you're going to be blessed with something um, beautiful because the universe is going to be making sure that you and your family is going to be protected. Okay. And your, your family is will come out of the situation on a good part. So a lot of you could be deciding also to go back and uh, live with family, share with family for a while. Yes, the door is open and they are hoping um, to have you home. And I see they're going to be giving you the time for you to find yourself and you're going to be very appreciative of this person or these people. It's going to take um, some of you one, two, three months 
and to get back on your feet but it's definitely definitely going to be happening so congratulations so you have a um, the Angman energy is number 12, which is 3. You have the energy of the star, which is 17 and 8. Then you have 7. So you have 5 numbers you can work with. Um, you know, people do all different sort of uh, things with the numbers, appointment, they buy scratch up, they buy, you know, just name it. Um, they buy 3 numbers and use it in whatever if these are your lucky number 12 3 17 8 and 7 okay use these numbers they will help you um in this year okay let's see what is the extra energy that is coming up i see jealousy a lot of you are going to be having a whole lot of jealousy there's jealousy and the jealousy um, is coming from a scorpion woman, an Aries and a scorpion woman. They're going to be recognizing um, a lot of you um, that a Aries and a scorpion woman um, is very, very jealous. Is a very jealous um, person. So stay away from this woman. All right, let's move to the people who were born on the 28th. All right, so you have the energy of justice um which is bringing forth some information and i see if if you guys had some sort of a lawsuit some sort of a legal issue well 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 ladies and gentlemen it is going to be a win and it's going to be a, a huge huge win okay so for the people who had a Issues and problems, it's going to be a huge win. I see they're going to be coming down on an Aries person, whoever this Aries person is and whatever this Aries person have done. They recognize that an Aries woman, whoever this Aries woman is, you're going to be very successful over this Aries woman. And I see a lot of you are um, going to be using the sword of truth to um, in this year. It's as if a whole lot of you standing up no longer um, you're just getting it out there, okay? Bam, 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 okay? You have no time to waste. This is what it is. It's coming out, so you can't help it. And you are, you know, you have two energies that is really on your side, and justice is about bringing that balance. And a lot of you could be divorcing an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. A lot of you are going to be deciding to turn your back to an Aries or um, yeah, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. This person could have been your, um, your friend. This person could have been, um, a family, um, situation, whatever. And whoever, um, this person was, you're, you're really turning your back on this person because you recognize I no longer need this person in my life. But a lot of you who were dealing with some sort of an issue with an Aries woman, this is going to be over. And a huge success because you're going to be successful at overcoming Aries woman and a um, Aquarian, Gemini or Libra woman that has created a, a whole lot of issues and problems for a lot of you. It's as if um, people are not going to be recognizing what an Aries woman have done and how this Aries woman tried to take uh, or tried to take and parade, parade and take your your success and parade on you. And I see that you are going to be just uh, releasing and just standing your ground and just balancing out the situation and said, okay, goodbye. You know, whoever you people are and whatever that was going on and whatever, you know, it says if some of you are balancing out the situation because the energy of justice is about balance and you're using the sword of truth but in the right way because you're using the sword and you're going to be successfully ending things ending things that no longer serving you ending things that an aries woman was creating for you ending things what an aquarian gemini or a liberal woman as a create for you whether this woman was your uh, mother um your sister your wife your brother name it is it a family member is it a friend 
whoever this woman is, you're going to be successfully overcoming this woman because uh, you definitely turn your back, uh, you cut things off, and you definitely are going to be turning your back on an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person. Emotionally, this person has brought you to a stage where you are ending up ending um whatever this person had created and how this person has affected your life and you're going to be ending it at the end of the day i see it's all about the money for you tauruses and uh, um you tauruses who have legal issue expect uh, to get a big payout this year whether it's a divorce whether it's a situation with a company a corporation an organization um you are going to be getting a big payout in this year. So um, be aware of this, um, ladies and gentlemen. Um, understand um, that you are about to change the world by using communication, especially people who communicate for their jobs. That's where the money is going to be. So if you're a salesperson, anything um, that has to do with communication, coaches, uh, um, you know, readers, whatever you do, and you're communicating, that is where you're going to be making a whole lot of money um, in this year, Taurus. So um, congratulations. So, so um, this energy of this, the book, and the book is uh, um, the energy of secrecy, okay? And there is some sort of a secrecy that was um, happening that is going to be coming out, okay? Some of you, if you're writers, you could be um, bringing forward a best-selling book in this year, okay? So there was some sort of a secrecy, um, the secrets uh, um, that was around you and that was there. Some sort of a secrecy could be coming out in this year and the secrecy uh, to do with money, okay? And for some of you who are writers, your book is going to be um, a bestseller. And this is going to be good. Some of you, um, 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 if you are a writer or blogger, this is what I was saying. Um, some sort of a vital information that you're bringing out is going to be a really um, bestseller. So congratulations. Um, money is going to be coming up, especially. Um, and you guys, that is where the 28th the money is going to be in this year by just something simple that you're going to be changing up and doing that's where the money is going to be coming in so congratulations all right let's move to the people who are born on the 29 you are governing this year and what we see by governing if you notice you guys who are born on the 29 you're in the center okay and you're also the part of the cross so you guys, everyone is going to be feeling this energy, okay? And the energy of the sun has to do with uh, a huge success. And if you guys uh, um, want, uh, had legal issue, huge success. If you guys wanted a new sort, huge success, okay? Communication is going to be very key. And I see a lot of you had to communicate clearly with your friends, and you end some sort of an emotional imbalance that you were having with friends. And that is going to be good. Money is also going to be here for you guys. Um, I see issues with your mother or a family member that is an Aquarian, Gemini or a Libra. This person um, is having a whole lot of issues. Um, and it is coming up as a woman. Okay. And I see that they're recognizing what this woman had done. And um, uh, there could be some sort of uh, uh, legal issues that is going to be coming up for this woman. And I see an end could be coming up with some sort of a legal issue that some of you had with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran. An end is coming in for this person. They have recognized what this lady have done. Okay, so... Again, a lot of you um, are going to be having some sort of a huge moment, huge successful moment, ending a situation with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra woman um, because they have recognized what this person has done. And um, you are going to be turning your back on this Aquarian, Gemini or Libra woman and uh, moving forward because you recognize and see the truth of who this person is. Then we see um, communication is coming up. 
and this is positive communication, you're going to be successfully overcoming what a family did and how a family took a whole lot of money from you. Justice is going to be coming down on this family and a whole lot of you are going to be having a new start um, over um, a new start is going to be coming up for you guys and you're going to be overcoming some sort of an undesirable situation that an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra family have done to your family. Justice is here and it's as if a lot of you are carrying the energy of equilibrium and balance, okay? And success um, is here. A lot of you that had some sort of a problem with your kid, um, you're going to be successfully overcoming this. Um, a lot of you who were having problems with children, friends, um, you know, people who uh, you connect with from an outside source, you are going to be overcoming these people. A lot of you are going to be um, really, really successful if you have your own business, if you're a freelancer's um, project managers, uh, um, uh, self-employed, you are going to be very, very successful in this year. Um, a lot of you, the emotional issues and problems that you were dealing with, with people who were jealous, I see you're going to be letting this go. You're going to be just using, um, your communication in order to let people know, I know you're not on my team. It's okay. Don't ruin, um, my life. Okay. And that is just something that you can say to them behind the back or you can look at their picture and say, I know you're not on my team. It's okay. You don't have to ruin my life. And that is going to be good. A lot of you who wanted a family or who wanted kids, I see unexpectedly some of you might have to be taking care of a, um, a kid or you might be asked or if you're a teacher or some of you could be we're finally getting your teacher's um, license and that sort of a thing. So it could be social uh, workers uh, where you're going to be working with kids, um, family and that sort of a thing. And I see that this is really, really going to be very positive. So this is going to be a really positive uh, lifelong line of things that is going to be happening and it's going to be transpiring. And you're going to be recognizing and pushing forward and seeing, um, you know, promising situations that is going to be coming up and creating better, healthy ways for families around you. So you could be helping other people, family, or you could be creating your own family or um, resolving situation in your own family. But I see happiness and joy. Okay. So when it comes on to friends, and family or people who are friends that you see, it, fe you, it feels like family. They're going to be helping you and they're going to be bringing joy and happiness in your world this year. They're going to be really, really there for you having your back. So this is going to be good. So you have the energy of the sun, which is 19, 10 and 1, 0. Okay, the energy of the sun, it's 19, 10, 1 and 0. Um, then we have eight, the energy of, um, uh, six. Okay. And it's positive. It's a six of cups. So it's always about kids. It's all about, about friends. Okay. Then we have family and it's an upright. So it's going to be very, very powerful. Number 10 again. So you have twice the energy of 10. Okay. So you have six, twice 10, 19, one and a zero. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what is your extra message. A new offer. A lot of you could be getting pregnant and creating your own family, okay? So expect a lot of you could be getting pregnant and creating um, a new family. A lot of you that was hoping for some sort of uh, buying a new house with your family, it is going to be coming in this year. Yes, it is going to be the year for you guys. So if you guys had always thought, I want to buy a house so my family can have a good place. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be happening in this year. A lot of you wanted to sell property or that sort of a thing. Yes, it's going to be happening and it's going to be happening in this year. All right, let's um, move forward and let's see what is happening and transpiring. Okay, so let's look at the people who were born on the 30th. 30th of April, on the 30th of April. 
it is going to be a year where money is going to be coming in. Um, if some of you, your friends had a, um, um, borrow money or you lend money to friends, they're going to be repaying you in this year. Um, a lot of you are going to be um, creating some sort of a new financial situation for yourself. I see a lot of money could be coming in. A lot of you um, are going to be turning your back and looking for a new start somewhere else. Okay. So I see a lot of you are thinking about to relocate. A lot of you um, feel as if I have done um, my car, my hair. And a lot of you are going to be thinking it's time for me to relocate, okay? So we see emotional um, energies are coming up and it's about you recognize that you have a, a conquer a, a place and you are looking for better avenues. You want to relocate because you recognize you have, um, you have deal with whatever karmatic situation in this place, in the city of and it is now over. A lot of you um, could be turning your back on a cancer. Okay. A lot of you could be like ending some sort of a communication, turning your back on a cancer. Um, a lot of you are going to be planning, sitting down and replanning because a lot of you are looking at where you want to live. It's as if some of you feel as if it's time to relocate. Some of you, it could be, mm, I've made all I can, you know, I've gotten my money out of this business. I'm going to relocate. I'm going to look for another city, another place to start, um, start a business, that sort of a thing. And uh, a lot of you are going to be ending a lot of re um, friendships, relationships. Uh, it's more as if friendship and relationship, a lot of you are going to be just... Um, recognizing that you know you have you have clearance the karma with friendship um and you're turning your back and relocating so maybe it's relocation why you're in in the friendship so with people but maybe it is uh, is just really you recognize that yet yeah, these people no longer serve you and you know you're better than these people these people um no longer serve the purpose of what you are on your journey with, okay? A lot of you who are married to an current Gemini or Libran, you're going to be ending um, the marriage or the relationship or whatever partnership you're going to be dissolving. If you had any with an Aquarian Gemini or Libran, you are going to be ending this. Uh, yep. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to be ending this. It is as if uh, I've seen it. I've done it. Uh, it is what it is. I do not really want to um, get involved. And you're going to be walking away, letting it go. Um, and don't look back. Okay? Don't look back. So this is going to be good. They recognize that an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person has created a, a, a criminal offense. Okay, if it's coming up as an Aquarian woman, um, but it can be an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra woman, and her friends or co-workers had created a huge, huge theft. Okay, so that's coming up. Oh, yeah. So that is coming up. And you're going to be recognizing, and it could be a business partner, a friend, a friendship, or however this was going, you are going to be recognizing what this person have done and how this person have created some sort of a issues. And it's going to be showing up. So you guys that was born on the 30th of uh, April, you are going to be having a new start. You are going to be successfully overcoming um, someone that has created a whole lot of issues for you. This person is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person that had created a whole lot of problems. They're going to be recognizing that there was some sort of a undesirable play with this person. 
This person is a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran. They're going to be recognizing that this person has created a huge theft and a deceptive play around a whole lot of you. So you have a, a new start. Success is here for you guys. Um, successfully overcoming um, some sort of a theft that has transpired. So you have zero, you have three, and you have 23 which is five transition changes is going to be coming up for a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. All right, so we're moving forward to the 1st of May. And the people who were born on the 1st of May, I see if you are in some sort of a management position, a lot of you are going to be thinking to go and start your own business, okay? So I see a lot of you could be thinking to change career or change um, your position at the workplace, uh, looking for higher position, higher paid jobs, uh, um, going for self-employment for some of you. This is going to be good. I see for a family, you're going to be successfully overcoming some undesirable situation that was transpiring. Some of you were having some sort of an issue with um, a apartment or a house, some sort of a contractual basis. I see a lot of you are going to be successfully moving forward. A corporation institution is uh, now aware of uh, some games that a group of people were playing and you are now going to be offered some sort of a new contract. So this is going to be very, very good. This is going to be a year where you're going to be successful. You're carrying your own energy of the energy of the, the air event. And this is going to be good, especially for business people. You Taurus business people are going to be very good. You're going to be um, regaining some sort of a successful stability in your world. And you're going to be transiting on a new level of understanding and moving forward in this year in a very, very positive way. So, um, you know, embrace yourself for this. This is going to be a really positive year for a whole lot of you. And a whole lot of you are going to be recognizing it is time I leave a corporation institution and go and branch out uh, um, for myself. And this is going to be good. A lot of you who are dealing with some sort of a group of friends or people you're going to be get re receiving some sort of a information about these people how these people are trying to work against you and i see that a lot of you are going to be recognizing it as time i leave these people behind me and look for better shores better water and emotionally you're going to be happily doing this because you recognize you no longer um, want to associate with this group of people because you recognize that they don't bring you any positive energies. So congrats, um, you have your own energy vibration and this is going to be helping a lot of you to shift uh, careers, to shift um, yourself by understanding, hey, I can make just about the same that I'm making um, at this job and even more by becoming self-employed and this is going to be good. So wonderful alignment of energy. You have five, you have eight, and you have seven. This is so clear. Five, eight, and seven. If this is your lucky number, use it and use it well because it's going to be helping you out. And this is what I'm saying. A lot of you, if you're thinking about your business, whatever business association that you have and whatever business association that you want to create, self-employment for yourself, it is going to be a yes. Go for it. Move forward. And you are going to be surviving this year. And you're going to be coming out very, very successful. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's move forward. Um, to the people who were born the 2nd of May. And the energy of uh, the 2nd of May is very, very powerful. You're shedding light. Light has been shed on a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, whoever this person is. This person has uh, created a huge, huge chef. And you should light on this person. You turn your back on this person and you're moving forward. So it could be a situation where it was your wife, a family member that has created a huge death, a friend, and you you 
recognize what this person have done, shed light on this person, and you decide I am moving away from this person. I no longer want to associate myself with this person. I am saying goodbye to this person. It is much better. That is going to be bringing me some sort of an emotional balance. So men, I see that you men are going to be recognizing this relationship, this marriage, uh, this association is now over. This year is the year that I have to put a point uh, and an end to this uh, um, connection because it's no longer serving me. And you're going to be happily just letting this go because I see um, that the 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 divorce is going to be coming through the dissolving of a partnership is going to be coming through and you're going to be emotionally moving forward in a balanced way you're not moving forward with the, the seven of cups but you're moving forward with the eight of cups where you're emotionally balancing yourself and accepting what has happened light is going to be shedding on a um a aquarian gemini or libra person this is a young person and I see um, you are going to be picking up the pieces. Um, whoever this person is, is between the ages of 18 and 50. And you're going to be picking up the pieces because you shed light on this person. You let people know what this person have been doing and how this person have created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue. And now I see that emotionally, a lot of you are going to be planning, planning, for some sort of a new start and this is going to be wonderful because it's as if uh, this is the year that a lot of you are going to be recognizing you have to create this new start because no one else is going to be doing it for you information is going to be coming out some sort of a emotional um situation is going to be transpiring and information is going to be coming out and I see a lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a news message over a um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person um, who have created um, some sort of an imbalance in your world. And it is a Cancer person. And I see people are now speaking about this person and is now recognizing what this person have done and how this person have created a whole lot of imbalance in your world. So it is about an emotional year. It's an emotional year, but a lot of you are going to be balancing out your emotions in a very, very positive way and is going to be definitely sharing this with other people and helping other people to recognize who they are at the same time. If you're communicating, if you do anything with communication, it is going to be good because you're going to be bringing forward positive energies, positive news for other people where people are going to be really connecting with you um, um, on a higher level because they recognize that you are coming from a place of uh, peace and a place of uh, gratitude that is going to be helping other people to move forward. So what a year, what a year, what a year. You guys have number nine and number four and twelve, nine. Four and twelve. A lot of positive, um, a lot of positive news are going to be coming in to you guys. A whole lot of positive uh, feedback from other people. A whole lot of positive news. A lot of people are going to be recognizing who you are. A lot of people are going to be sharing your anticipation, your happiness, your joy. A lot of people are going to be showing acknowledgement and honors could be coming up for a lot of you. So, ladies and gentlemen, I do love you and enjoy this year. Remember, you can still ask for a birthday reading. Um, it is good because there you can connect with yourself in a very, very positive way and understand um, what, what has been transpiring in your world and sharing this with others. So congratulations. Happy birthday. It's going to be a very successful year. I got to go. Please remember to share these video. Share, share, share. It's very important to let all the people know. This is the reading from the 26th of April until the 2nd of May. I will speak to you next month. Namaste.